I'm gonna show you how to make the most delicious Greek Cypriot inspired pasta. It's so good, it's really quick, it's a one pound wonder and it's a recipe from my new cookbook, Five Ingredients Mediterranean. This is simple, five ingredients obviously, but all of that energy from the Mediterranean, the colors, the flavors, one of the best cuisines in the world. And of course there's so many countries. Now one of them is Cyprus. I used to go there as a kid. One of my good friends, Georgie Hayden, uh, gave me the inspiration for this dish because she comes from Cyprus. So one of the things in this book that I really love is the non-Italian pasta dishes, which I know sounds really weird, but without getting into too many arguments, the Mediterranean has had pasta for thousands of years. This is orzo, so it looks a little bit like rice, but it's not rice, right? It's very small pasta. You can get it really easily now in supermarkets. Not all of them, but it's definitely out there. So we're gonna use this pasta. I'm also gonna give you a hack to sort of fake this pasta if you can't find it, right, with spaghetti. I'll show you that in a minute. So we've got pasta, garlic, we've got parsley here, which you could swap out for any herb you like, marjoram, thyme, basil. We've got the halloumi here, which all my kids love at home. Really, really nice, sort of squeaky and fresh and salty. Then we've got some tomatoes here that have been on the windowsill, nice and ripe. Let's get cooking. So like I said, it's a one pound wonder. So get yourself a nice wide casserole style pan. We'll whack that onto a medium heat to start off with. And first job actually is a little preparation on fresh pasta. Now first up, you can use tinned tomatoes straight away. Two tins of tomato would be beautiful, but I think what you get when they're on the vine like this, they don't just taste good, they smell good as well. So what I'm gonna do is get some nice ripe tomatoes. Um, I've got 600 grams of tomatoes here, just cut them in half like this. This is a little hack for making a very simple delicious sauce instead of using tin tomatoes, which is also delicious. It's using a standard box grater like this. And what I do is go on the fine side, not that side, this one here, right, that you'd grate cheese on. Take the half of the tomato and just gently rub it. And don't cut yourself, right, just gently. Now if you see, down the bottom, you're gonna see pulp and juice coming out. And on the top, you're gonna see a separation of the seeds and the skin. The freshness is another level. Right, so look at that. Right, no seeds, seeds. So that's the technique. So I'm gonna do that to all of this. Let's have a little clean down. So the tomato sauce is done. This pan is getting nice and warm. I'm gonna put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil into a pan. And I've got two cloves of garlic. So this is a really simple pasta sauce. But the technique starts to get really interesting because we're not gonna boil the pasta. We're gonna cook the pasta in the sauce. Get your garlic in there. You don't wanna cook the garlic too quickly. At this point, I've got half a bunch of fresh parsley. It could be basil, it could be oregano, it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna finely slice the stalks, which are really sweet and delicious, don't waste those. And as that garlic just starts to color, I'm gonna put in the stalks of the parsley. If you wanted to make this spicy, you could, but that would be a sixth ingredient. So five ingredients, I'm keeping it simple, keeping it fresh. I'm now gonna go in with the beautiful fresh tomatoes. Look at that, look at the color. So now I'm gonna turn the heat up and just bring this to the boil. And what I'm gonna do is put some water in here to roughly the same volume as you had the grated tomatoes. So in we go in with the water. And what you wanna do is bring that to the boil. So I'm gonna finely slice the parsley using the cross chop method. So fingers flat at the end and just keep going round until it's nice and fine. So here we've got 200 grams of the orso, right? So you can see if you look closely, it looks like rice, but it really isn't. It's got more angular sort of cuts on it. But if you can't find it, I want to give you a little hack, right? Because you'll get a very, very similar effect. Get a tea towel, get some spaghetti, and just steal a little bit, like that, okay? Roll up the pasta, like this, and very simply take it and just run it off the side of a surface, like that, okay? And then what you get is your own homemade fake also. Okay, so it's a nice little tip. Let me just mop that up. So look, not a bad little fake. 
right? But even though it's, you know, also it might feel posh, it's just flour and water, right? Now, as soon as this has come to the boil, let's let it rain also, give it a little stir. I think it's important to give it a light seasoning now so it cooks into the pasta, like that. So some salt, go in with some pepper. So you can see this is boiling nicely and I want to cook that on a medium sort of gentle simmer, right? not too fast, not too slow, with a lid on, stirring regularly for about 12 to 14 minutes until it's nice and tender. And then I'll show you how to season it, finish it with the halloumi and also adjust the texture. It smells good. While that's cooking, please click the like button and give us some love. And don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and remember to turn on that notification bell so you know what's happening. Now, back to the recipe. So this has been cooking now for about 11 minutes. Look how the pasta's absorbed the sauce. Really beautiful. And there's so many things you could do with this. You could put tuna through it, you could put olives through it, more herbs through it, different cheeses through it. You could, you know, uh, use different vegetables, chopped up jarred peppers. So this is a beautiful principle recipe, but this one, simple and gorgeous, five ingredients. So the fun bit is now, let's just try a little bit of also. Beautiful. I'm gonna turn the heat off. Remember, if it's a little bit wet now, that's perfect, because it's gonna carry on sucking up the beautiful moisture. I'm gonna go in with this lovely chopped parsley. And now, the real twist in the tail. Like when I tried this for the first time, it really blew my mind. So I've always bought halloumi, the family love it. I've fried it, I grilled it, but never in pastas. And it is amazing. So about 40 grams you use just to put through it and then just a little bit on it. And it just melts in the most incredible way. So I guess when you grill it or fry it, it's a bit bouncy and a little bit squeaky and delicious. But when you grate it like this, it oozes into the pasta, but kind of holds its shape a little bit. So look at the color, it's really, really nice. You might want to adjust with just a little bit of water, you know, just to let it down. You want it to be loose and you want it to be elegant. Really important, not dry and not claggy. Just stir that through, look at that ooze. If you've got some nice extra virgin olive oil, just kind of stir a little bit of that through it, just to give it that beautiful shine. So let's have a little go here. Look at that texture. Imagine doing that for your friends and family. If they love like a classic tomato pasta, this is like that, but fresher, more surprising. The halloumi has got that lovely salty tang that's so good. If you wanted to hit it with a little chili, of course you can, but look at that. Beautiful. Just finish it with a little olive oil like that, hot and steamy. I'm just gonna finish it now with just a few bits of parsley, just to tell the story, what's going on. You can change up the herbs if you want. I'm gonna go to the fine side of the grater and just do nice long strokes of halloumi. And then the only thing you've got to do is find a fork and tuck it in. Look at that. Beautiful. Mmm. It's so good. So simple. It's one of those recipes that you could do time and time again. I think there's a nice technique in there with box gratering those fresh tomatoes. So nice. Five ingredients, simple, delicious, comfort food. And that is one of the recipes from my brand new cookbook. Five ingredients, Mediterranean, please. Have a look, just pick it up, flick through it and see what you think. I hope, I know you're gonna love it.